Welcome back to the channel, guys. I truly appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. I appreciate you guys hitting that like and that notification bell, leaving great comments when you see a popular video that you like. When you see a video that you like, you make the video popular. That sounds better. Well, this question is, should Shallow Will we see Shallow playing offense? Oh, thanks for the donations too, guys. The question, is Shallow going to play offense? It's a great question, Trey. You know, who knows with some trickery? Coach Prime played defense, special teams, and offense. Never forget the Cowboys when he went in as receiver and made some big things happen. You could probably see, you know, Shiloh Sanders getting on offense this season, but I'm not banking on it. It would be creative. It would be cool. I'm sure the headache gang CEO, I don't know how you feel about it. He's used to giving the headaches, not receiving, because you know they're going to try to tackle him hard. I'm going to bet against it. You won't see shallow offense, although it would be cool to do. Got another question. I know these guys. I know them and love them. Goonsville underscore 303 underscore clothing. What does it take to be a certified goon? Well, what it helps you is being recognized as a goon, and that's why you should rock Goonsville clothing. Man, look my guys up. Young entrepreneurs, started a business. I got with them in Boulder, Colorado. They keep the pregame show network dripped out with Goonsville clothing. You see me rocking it. What it takes to be a goon is to do goon things. How do you know a duck when you see it? Because it acts like a duck. You want to be viewed as a goon, rock Goonsville clothing, and act like a goon. Miss BK Finest, at Miss BK Finest. She wants to know, here is her question. Does CP, and I'm assuming CP is Coach Prime, does Coach Prime meet with the content creators, the pregame show, uh, reach the people, well-off media? Does he reach, meet with y'all to get feedback and what he wants to see? You know, I'm not gonna say he like meets with us, but we're around him all day long and we talk to him all day long and throughout the day and throughout the weekends. And uh, he knows content and he knows journalism. People always talk about his 14-year NFL Hall of Fame career, but they forget about his 14-year broadcast career. So he's no, he knows marketing and brand, that kind of thing. So he's always there with a good idea. And let me tell you this about his good ideas. He ain't gave me a bad one yet. There's sometimes he'll suggest something. And I'm like, man, that's no one going to watch that. And it'd be the very thing that blows up. He knows content. So we don't sit down for say and have like these scheduled round table meetings with him, but we're around him all day long doing content on his behalf. And he doesn't mind letting you know, giving you a great idea. Speaking of great idea, that was a great question. Thank you for it. All right, next question. At DD13, DF12. At DD13, DF12. I wish when you do something with Coach Sapp, make it on a specific and consistent day of the week. It would get many more views if people know exactly when it will be and not just a surprise show randomly. I think your wish has already been granted. Wednesdays with Warren, WWW, Wednesdays with Warren, tune into the pregame show network. I, Uncle Neely, sit down with the Hall of Famer, Warren Carlos Sapp, and we have discussions on everything you can imagine. It's fun, it's informative, it's entertainment, it's educational. That makes it edutainment. Man, check it out. Wednesdays with Warren, Uncle Neely, Warren Sapp. Great question, great idea. We took it up. It's going to be Wednesdays, Wednesdays with Warren Sapp. Check it out for Hump Day. Hi, everybody. It's Alexis, Pizza Girl X, coming to you from the editing desk. BSTGK says, will Alexis ever answer a question? Ta-da! I just answered one. <laughs> Now, I might not be a football expert like some of the other folks you see on this channel, but if there is a question that you have specifically for me, feel free to ask it. And who knows, you might see me appear randomly in a video answering your question. K. Wilson, 670. K. Wilson, 670 asks, what happens if a player isn't picked up in the portal? What happens if a player is not picked up in the portal? Hey, man, that's what happens to the majority of kids, student athletes who hit the portal. The majority, the overwhelming majority, and I'm talking about in the thousands, don't land somewhere. You know, the portal giveth, the portal take it away. Uh, you should really do your homework before you enter it because just because you enter it doesn't mean someone's going to pick you up. So most of those guys who don't get picked up, their college days are over. That's probably the worst case. 
or they try to walk on somewhere that's convenient to them, a school back home or close to home, that kind of thing. Uh, but those top tier guys, when they get picked up and offer scholarships, they're gone pretty rapidly. But those other players who linger in the portal while the longer you're in it, the longer you're in it. And you can get stuck in the portal. I mean, it's like the twilight zone. So uh, it could be the end of your career taking an opportunity. But also now, just because you're in the portal can't does not mean you can't go back to where you entered the portal from, which is why you should never burn bridges, keep great relationships, because just because you entered the portal of school, you can still go back to that same school. Hey, that was another, another segment of Ask Uncle Neely. Y'all keep the questions coming, keep them rolling. When we see them, we're gonna log them in and we're going to answer them. We'll see you next time on Ask, um Ask Uncle Neely. Thank y'all. That was a great video, guys. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Ask Uncle Nilly. Go check out his channel. With that said, guys, I'm done breaking bread.